Hey guys, what's up Gemini? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, <clears throat> any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind, we may have an offer coming. Keep in mind the energies could go both ways. Uh, this could be your energy. The energy of someone around you, the person you're dealing with, something like that. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. Alright, how to reposition. Alright, the star, Aquarius, energy. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus. Aquarius is here. I mean, it could be anyone, but real strong. Double Taurus. Double time. Show me the star, please, for Gemini. <laughs> the King of Swords. Oh, yeah, and the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> the King of Swords is your energy. You could be dealing with another uh, fire sign doesn't have to be but you have a fresh start here with the ace of cups that's a new beginning in love it could be someone that's um brand new possibly an aquarius is pretty strong um tell me about this ace of cups for gemini this is something that you wish for something that you hoped for hey Somebody, this could be somebody for some kind of a rekindling. Maybe somebody who ghosted the situation. who um, Or who's just been breadcrumbing the hell out of it. Doing the least to keep you there. This person may also be having some money issues. Someone possibly who you felt like abandoned you. Show me this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's over here working hard as hell. <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles is kind of like, uh, I mean, it could be an earth sign, but it's kind of like flipping the script. Like, um, the Queen of Pentacles takes care of home, house. She knows how to make money. Um, and so with this Ten of Wands, that's kind of what's happening. Somebody is like working hard to rectify a situation, to bring some type of stability back into it. Oy, the Devil and the Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness. This just got interesting. This went a couple of ways now. Because with the Devil and this um, Queen of Wands, there's also like an obsessive energy somebody who's very probably possessive um also could have something to do with money here but there's also <laughs> something to, a lot to do with like sexuality what is what in the world show me this devil because there's you know it's a general reading so there's a couple of different ways this can go right there's something new starting here but there also could be, this could be somebody who goes to the situation before, or this could be somebody who's having financial issues um, as well. Because right here we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So someone here is working hard as hell, like providing, taking care of the fam, taking care of the house, you know, trying to get the bills paid, things like that. So as we're working hard and we have somebody over here kind of like either because with the star there it really feels like this was a wish that was like let go of if it's not poverty. Um, but then this is like an obsessive energy. This is like a very um, somebody being very much drawn to you attracted to you especially on a physical level. But since we do have the poverty card here, if this resonates, hopefully I'm not confusing you guys, as money, this queen of pentacles and the devil here, this could be somebody who's like, um, it can be like about like hoarding or materialism, greed, but it could also be about, um, 
kind of possessiveness or you know really territorial over like family possessions things like that so that's why this is a kind of a different kind of reading because we have someone up here working hard but i don't want somebody to kind of be taking advantage of the situation why the devil give me one more on the devil why the devil for gemini the temperance card could be dealing with a sagittarius or this is somebody that like you've let go of before yeah, for some, there was um, maybe a third-party situation. Somebody um, kind of stepped out. For others, this could be somebody who stole something or withheld something. Give me one on that Seven of Swords, then I'm going to leave it. the ten of pentacles for some there was a family here for some this has everything to do with like money and holding on to something if it's not money it's about holding on to something but the ten of pentacles can be about money family where loyalty is supposed to lie because it does seem like we have somebody up here who's possibly like for some like in a pretty set right now financial position so for some just keep your finances to yourself we also could have something about like there was theft here or somebody just straight ghosted a situation show me the higher fence for the outcome for Gemini the queen of swords that is your energy my friend um what's up with this queen of swords so you have matching counterparts here there could have been like a marriage involved could be dealing with another air sign Tell me about this queen of swords but with the higher fence there that's about higher commitment and yeah and like your values your beliefs so it looks like you end up walking away from this situation like you turn your back towards it the high priestess you keep a lot of things in a lot of things to yourself and not revealed and uh, for some, it may bring a great, uh, you know, some stress, some worry. Kind of wondering about the unknown. Pay attention to your dreams because they do have something to tell you right now. Keep a dream journal. I mean, this is kind of like... Uh, it feels misguided as hell on some level whether it's monetary or your money's looking good right now so somebody's coming back around because they're broke or i mean it could be you know your money you're over here working and holding it down and then you got like somebody that's really not trying to let go of you obsessed on like a different level the sexual level but also like an attachment level so just be mindful trust your intuition know the difference between like fact and what your head is telling you and that's kind of like the what ifs the anxiety um just keep your money on the hush all right gems i hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that information is below as well you guys take care and I'll see you next time.